Hello there, a very warm welcome to you. I'm Ricky and in this video I'm going to give you a very clear and simple explanation for how the law of attraction works. However, I'm not going to explain just the theory and principle of how the law of attraction works. I'm going to describe the exact steps that you need to take to make this universal law work for you. So let's not beat around the bush as it were and let's get straight into the fine details. Now everything in the universe is energy and this includes you. Your body is made from the exact same particles of energy as the physical world around you. And energy by its magnetic nature either attracts other energy or it repels it. So what the law of attraction describes is how energy is attracted towards you. And when you understand how the law of attraction works, you can intentionally and consciously influence what you attract into your life. Now I'll explain how law of attraction works in one simple quote and I'll then explain the steps for how you can do this for yourself. Now the quote is, be the energy that you want to attract. Now, everything in your life, that's the people in your life, the events you go through, and the opportunities that come your way, all of these things are attracted towards you. And what many people don't realise is that it is they themselves who attract these things into their life. And with a little experimentation, you can prove this for yourself. So if you want to attract people who feel love within their heart, you have to feel and be that energy of love within yourself. If you want to attract happy people into your life, you have to feel and be happy within yourself because the energy you feel inside of yourself is the energy that you attract into your life. The majority of people will be able to relate and recognise in one way in which they attract intimate partners for example. Now the vast majority of people especially when it comes to the younger people among us are driven by sexual desire. So most people don't get in an, an intimate relationship because you know they have so many things that they want to give and share with the other person. Most people get in an, an intimate relationship because they want sex. You know, there is a, a selfish desire there with the majority of people. And when you express a strong enough sexual energy within yourself, you will attract other people who are also currently expressing that same sexual energy and who have that same sexual intention and desire. Or to look at it another way, if all you're looking for is sex, you will attract people who are also only looking for sex. Now that's how the law of attraction works. Now most people have little awareness and control over what they attract into their life because most people are driven by their desires which is not in their control and it's what they desire that they attract and many desires are not consciously intended they are you know rather, rather they are automatic impulses that we all naturally have to varying degrees so that's how the law of attraction works now, how can you control what you attract into your life? Well, the principle is very, very simple. Remember I said, be the energy that you want to attract. So to control what you attract into your life, you have to control your own energy field. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, your body has an energy field that surrounds it, your perhaps aware of this already, some people know it as the aura. And your aura is an energy field that surrounds you and interacts with your environment and all the people in it. 
So the energy that you channel into your aura is the energy that you will attract from your environment. Now, this is how the law of attraction works. So how do you change your own energy in order to influence what you attract into your life? Well, your thoughts, your feelings and your imagination are very misunderstood aspects of the human person. Your thoughts, your feelings and imagination are not you. They are tools which you have at your disposal. And when you realise that your thoughts, your feelings and imagination are tools, naturally you then wonder, okay, how do I use these tools to my advantage? Now, everyone is attracting things into their life and every single human being is manifesting their sense of reality, whether they're aware of it or not. However, most people are not in control of their thoughts, their feelings and what goes on in their imagination. So most people are not in control of what they attract into their life. There may well be some occasions when people's thoughts, feelings and imagination align with one another. And in those situations, they attract exactly what they want into their life. But mostly, in most cases, people are directed by their own thoughts, feelings and imagination. And they're not in control of these things. Now that is very much like an artist being controlled by his own brush. Now, your thoughts, feelings and imagination are all different forms of energy. Now, after all, all these aspects of you exist within this world of energy. So everything is energy. And you can use your thoughts, feelings and imagination in order to influence your own energy field. And by doing so, you can control your own energy signature, which selects what sort of energy you attract into your life. Now, it's really very simple in principle, but it sure does take a little practice to, to master this. So how can you use this for yourself? Now, this is the mechanics for how your thoughts, feelings and imagination influence your energy field. So let's create an example so I can explain how you can do this yourself. Now, there are three things that you need to create within yourself to control the law of attraction, as we've already covered. So you need to create a thought. You then need to create a feeling and you need to exercise your imagination. Now, Let's say that you want to attract love into your life from another person, for example. Now, the thought that you create is the intention that you want to fill your energy field with. And in this case, your intention is to attract love. So you can consciously intend to fill your energy field with the energy of love by using thought. Next, you need to reinforce and amplify that thought with energy. And this is where your feelings come in. The energy that you can create within yourself in the form of feelings is the energy that you charge your energy field with. So the energy that you feel follows the direction of the thought or the intention that you create. So your thought or intention is to fill your energy field with love and by creating the feeling of love within you, that love follows the thought and channels love into your energy field. Next is to exercise your imagination. Now at this stage, you want to imagine within your mind a very clear and detailed image 
of what it is you want to attract into your life. So if you're attracting love from another person, create all the attributes that you would want to attract from this person within your imagination. So imagine the colour of their hair. Imagine the shape of their body. Picture yourself within this imagined image within your mind and visualise both of you interacting with one another. You know, make this visualisation as clear and as vivid and real as you can possibly make it while maintaining the original thought of love and feeling that energy. Now you need to sustain these three things, you know, the thought, the feeling and the image within your mind for you know at least a few minutes if you can and ideally you want to be repeating this process daily so you're always working on attracting this. Now one of the key things to remember however is to accept and believe wholeheartedly and within your mind that what you are attracting is slowly being drawn towards you because without belief this is not going to work. Now I understand that creating a thought and imagination can be reasonably easy for most people. The difficult thing to create, however, is feelings and emotions just like that on cue. This is the challenging bit. Now, if we could all just feel happy just like that, then we would all already be happy. So if you find creating emotion and feeling at will difficult at first, Try visualising a memory of a past event when you felt love. And once you feel this love within you, then add the thought and the visualisation of what you want to attract. Now, I noticed when I was 14 years old that I was starting to attract all the things that I had a strong desire for. And, you know, whether that was people, things or events and situations or opportunities, I found that everything that I had a desire for, I would attract. And it started out as a funny coincidence until I started experimenting with it a wee bit. And with a little practice, I realised that I could be very, very specific with what I wanted to attract into my life and I would attract that exact thing into my life. It may take weeks, sometimes months and on some rare occasions depending on, on what you're trying to manifest it could take a year or more but I attracted every single thing that I intended to attract. Now there's an important lesson here because I'm not saying that this is something that you should do there are quite deep spiritual reasons for why you should not manifest and control the law of attraction for human pleasure and desire. If you want to learn how to use the law of attraction properly for spiritual growth and you want to empower your energy field and your abilities even further, then I'd highly advise you to learn Reiki and you can use that energy to seriously boost your own energy field. And I'll explain this in fine detail in my online Reiki courses, which you can find in the link in the description below this video. What this explanation for the Law of Attraction will show you, however, is that a big part of your life that you have just now is the life that you have been attracting. It will be the energy that you want to attract. And with enough mental focus and with strong enough feeling, and with enough energy, and with enough vivid imagination as well, you will attract exactly the same energy that you choose to express. Now please do leave me a like for this video, share your thoughts in a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to receive notifications of new videos. And if you want to amplify your ability to work with the law of attraction even further, and empower your ability to manifest, 
click the link in the description, enroll on my advanced Reiki courses and I'll give you the spiritual empowerment needed to supercharge your intentions and supercharge your working with the Law of Attraction.